Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Sunday morning to you all. This is Storm Track 7 meteorologist Robbie Kamidari. Last night, we saw some more showers and storms roll through the area, even at least ignited some severe thunderstorm warnings across portions of the area. We still have some lingering showers and even some moderate rainfall down to our south. Starting to show up and push a little bit to the north and east. Now temperatures mostly in the 50s to lower 60s, as you can see. This is something we're going to see throughout a good chunk of the day today, just on and off showers and storms for the most part. Later this afternoon, we could watch another chance for some more strong to possibly severe storms develop. I'll show you the future track in just a moment here. But again, the main threat is off to our south. As you can see, level three out of five, that orange coloring that you see there, well off to our south there. We did have portions of the area under a level two out of five, mostly south of I-80, uh, level two out of five slight risk yesterday. But again, the main trends have been pushing this off to the south, which of course is some good news, but the entire area is still under this level one out of five uh, risk for severe thunderstorms later on this afternoon, say around or after six o'clock till about midnight or so. Still main area in our viewing area to keep an eye on is those southern, those far southern locations. Main threats would be wind and hail as you can see here, but we still can't rule out the chance for a tornado or two. This is why we still have this yellow alert day still in play for us today for that chance again for strong to possibly severe thunderstorms. Again, that's mostly south of I-80 that we're tracking there. Now, as we move through the rest of the day, again, there are still some questions here regarding that severe threat. If some of those southern locations do see a little bit more clearing, say after this batch of main rainfall that we've been seeing this morning rolls through, I'll take you through that again through the rest of the morning, just on and off shower and storm activity. But again, if we see some clearing for those far southern locations, that would help at least heighten up or increase that chance for severe storms, the possibility of them at least later on this afternoon. Northern areas still look to be under a lot of cloud coverage, so that's why the risk is a bit lower for those northern locations. But here you are again, some of those storms you can see starting to develop across those southern locations, all depending on how much energy is available, of course. But otherwise, once we get past midnight, we really start to gradually clear on up with only some spotty shower activity. Now, to sum this all up for you, though, again, highs today, mostly in the 60s to lower 70s. It will be a bit windy out there outside of any thunderstorms that do develop, especially later on this afternoon. Gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. Those lighten up a bit tonight, and the main chance for showers and storms is up until about midnight. Thereafter, we definitely start to see decreasing cloud coverage. Still something to keep an eye on. Otherwise, lows in the upper 40s to lower 50s across the board. And when it's all is said and done, by tomorrow morning, we could see another round half an inch or so. That's mostly from this morning's rainfall through the late morning time frame, but some of that could be many heavier storms they do develop. That's why we are watching that bl more blue shading that you see there uh, for some locally higher amounts that could be possible. Otherwise, heading into tomorrow morning, like I mentioned, still some spotty showers are possible across portions of the area on the back side of this storm system. But heading into Tuesday, later on in the afternoon, especially towards the evening, we have another chance for some showers and storms. And some of those could be strong to possibly severe. The main risk is across western Iowa, as you can see with that level two out of five risk, but across far western portions of our viewing area, we are under a level one out of five risk. Hail and wind still seem to be the main threats right now, but can't rule out a quick spin up or two. Otherwise, once we're past Tuesday, Wednesday, of course, is the first day of May there, we do have a couple chances for some scattered shower activity all the way through the end of the week, but next weekend right now, it's looking a bit of windy to start. Highs mostly in the 60s.